At this time, I'm going to ask if Scott Chapman would join me on stage. Scott, come on out, buddy. Everybody know Scott Chapman? Have a seat right here. Hello, everyone. If you know Larry and Gene Chapman, you know this guy. He knows this church for a long time. I bet you when you were a kid, you ran around these pews, didn't you? In fact, all around the dirt and, and all the uh, forms and everything before the foundation oh, was wow. even laid. So you even, you've been in the church before it existed. That's awesome. <laughs> One of the things that has been uh, really on my heart for many years is that our church would be a place where people are set free, delivered. And how many know that deliverance doesn't always happen all at once? Uh, and, and not everyone can go to a Teen Challenge or a program like that, uh, which are fantastic ministries and challenge, or programs that are offered. But there are people right here in the church that you may feel like that everything's just normal for them. They're not going through any struggles. You'd be surprised how many people are going through struggles. They have, they have issues in their life that are weighing them down and affecting them. Now, we usually think of, you know, drug addiction or alcohol addiction, but there's many other struggles that people have. And so Scott came to me with Celebrate Recovery, a ministry that he, he's going to share about. Scott, just tell us in a nutshell, what is this ministry about? In, in a nutshell, it's in the name, Celebrate Recovery. Uh, the beautiful thing about this ministry and this program is that Celebrate Recovery will help anybody who's struggling with life issues. Uh, we're talking about hurts, uh, hang-ups, bad habits. Um, sometimes these are hurts and hang-ups and bad habits that have been formed because of, of years of pain that, uh, that people have held inside. So um, I'm working with um, older teenagers, young adults, uh, adults in their 50s, 60s, even 70s who are finally dealing with things deep down inside that they've been holding inside. And, and you know what, frankly, because of that halfway living. And so Celebrate Recovery is there just for that. Um, like you said, Pastor, besides uh, drug addiction and alcoholism, which, which is prevalent in our society and a very helpful uh, ministry for that, um, and, and we'll advertise like that. But listen, this is also for people who are dealing with things, um, some common things like growing up uh, without a father. Um, abandonment issues, abuse, um, depression, anxiety, uh, overeating, uh, pornography, all kinds of issues that Celebrate Recovery can help you with because basically it's a step study program that's centered around Christ and mm. the Bible. So Amen. every step that you have, steps 1 through 12, has an associated verse that reinforces that step and why you're taking that step as you go through these steps. Also, it's um, the beautiful thing about this program is they have aligned eight principles of recovery based off the Beatitudes. Mm -hmm. And so when you're, when you're taking scripture from the Beatitudes and the Sermon on the Mount that Christ gave us and lining that up with a 12 step study program, surrounded with people who are going through similar things like you, um, sharing in open groups, which is an, a kind of an, an anonymous setting so that you can feel safe there. Um, we've got a good program now starting November 7th. Yes, that's our kickoff. That's when this will begin. And and tell us a little bit about what happens. So it'll be every Saturday night, starting at 6 o'clock. But kind of walk us through what will happen every Saturday night. Well, every Saturday night, we, we basically want this to be a home for anybody going through recovery to be at every Saturday night. So we're going to open the doors at 6 o'clock. And the first hour will be kind of a social hour where we have some pizza and sodas, talk, get to know each other. The next hour, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, will be... A main service where men and women get together out in the Family Ministry Center, uh, where we'll have uh, music, worship, some announcements, and then typically a, a lesson or mm -hmm. a testimony of somebody who's gone through recovery. And then um, after that, at 8 o'clock, we do what we call breakout groups. And we have open share time for both men separately and women separately to get together and, and just take a few minutes going around a circle, basically just sharing why you're there, what you're going through, what you've been experiencing, uh, your lows and your highs for the week, uh, maybe a focus question that the leader might, might facilitate and ask you to elaborate on how you're feeling. Um, and then we all come back together at that final hour between 9 and 10 just to socialize more. Um, the slogan we're going to use a lot, and you, you'll hear it commonly in Celebrate Recovery, whichever night you're there, is there's no better place to be on a Saturday night in our case. Amen. And so... That's what we want to get them used to. I'll tell you what, I shared with Pastor, uh, 
part of the vision for the Celebrate Recovery program in particular, this church is very centralized. And so we have a huge neighborhood right back here, the Centennial Park neighborhood. And we've got apartments and condos all the way down uh, California Avenue. And our team is planning to go out and mine that whole neighborhood. Uh, we're going to be passing out little flyers that are being printed this week uh, with details about why, when, and where uh, Celebrate Recovery. And uh, we, our vision is to, to help people new to church get used to being here, first of all, make this their home, but then teach them also as they've gone through recovery and, and are starting to give back, uh, be churched, and have them come back the following morning on Sunday, uh, sit with us here in church, and, and get used to a service just like this as they go through recovery, too. Um, I just think it's a wonderful formula. I feel like God is opening doors. Amen. And I thank you so much for the opportunity that you're providing to and that the board of directors here. And I'll ask all of you to, if you don't mind, a all. little plug. Uh, go to Facebook and look up Facebook. Uh, celebrate, Re celebrate Recovery at Bakersfield First Assembly. If you will please like that page, and it will let you follow it automatically if you like it. And then share that page with all of your Facebook friends as well. I wanted to get the word out. If there's anybody out there who is hurting with something, they need to know about this program. So you might be that, that instrument that uh, puts that bug in their, their ear and in their mind. You know, what I love about this is it's Christ-centered. You know, AA is a good program. It's helped people uh, get off of alcohol. And one of the gentlemen in the church I pastored uh, in Ojai, he was, he was in AA and he had been an alcoholic. And he, but this is what he said, the only thing worse than being a drunk is sobriety without Jesus. And so he, he stressed the Christ aspect, and uh, this is what Celebrate Recovery is centered on Christ. Now, they utilize the 12 steps, but they're biblically based, and your higher power is not a light bulb, it's Jesus. And so I, I love this, it, and the second thing is it's confidential. People need a safe place. So the Bible says that we need to confess our faults one to another so that we can be healed. We just want people healed, don't we? We don't, we don't want them bound by drugs or chemicals or anxiety or anything else. There's no shame in this. We want to take away all that shame because the church is a hospital. Church is a place where people get delivered and set free and they become overcomers. They become victors. And so I'm just, I've been praying about this for so long and then for Scott to come and offer this. He's had great training He's led other groups. And so what they're going to, it's not just a ministry for our church or for Christians. As he said, they're going to blanket our neighborhood. It's an outreach. Yeah, it's going to bring people that have these habits into the church. So it's not only Christ-centered, it's confidential, but it's connected to the church. And so this is a ministry we want to support. And we've already received calls of people that need this ministry. And so uh, you may have a family member that's struggling with addiction. Uh, you may know of someone that is hurting grief recovery. Uh, there's, there, many times we don't understand grief when we've lost a loved one, a spouse, or, or someone precious to us. And so this is what's available to us. And I, I love it. It's, it's not people just talking about their problems. It's people helping them come, become free of those life challenges. So anything else, Scott, we need to know? No, I think you ended it on a good note. That's really what it's about. It's about healing and freedom. That's the outcome of this, and that's why it's all in a nutshell, Celebrate Recovery. Um, once you've gone through a step study program in Celebrate Recovery, and you have gotten a lot of stuff out that's been hiding in there for a long time, um, you're able to celebrate recovery. I'll tell you what I like about this, too. You can go through a 12-step study for AA or NA, and I'll tell you the common scene that, um, as a former alcoholic, always turned me off of AA was you could see Bob going to Alcoholics Anonymous 50 years later and he's still saying, hi, I'm Bob and I'm an alcoholic. And that's not what a Christ-centered recovery program is about. It's about um, letting Jesus come in and healing those bad habits, mm -hmm. healing the need for this chemical dependency that you have because of underlying issues with anger and frustration and loss and abandonment and abuse. And so this really is a healing program. James 5.16 is what says that. Confess your sins with each other to get it out so you know what's going on with each other. Pray for each other so that you may be healed. That's what this is. Amen. And many times these habits uh, or these hurts turn into habits because of trying to deal with the hurts. And 
That's true. Uh, with Celebrate Recovery, it's not 50 years later and saying I'm still an alcoholic. It's saying I'm free. I'm a child of God. And I'm no longer bound or, or labeled like that because who the sun sets free is free indeed. But we've got to provide that vehicle, and this is the vehicle. Every Saturday night, 6 o'clock fellowship, 7 o'clock they get into worship. And, uh, uh, and so we want to kick this ministry off. We're going to have flyers available next Sunday as well for you to hand out to maybe a neighbor or a friend that may need this. But we're going to pray for Scott right now, and we are going to dedicate this ministry to the Lord. Would you join me in prayer? God, I thank you so much for Scott and his passion, Lord. And God, you've taken all that he's been through, and you've turned it around for your glory. God, he's a man that understands hurt and pain. And so, Father, I just thank you for raising him up for such a time as this. Lord, we love Scott. We love his family. Lord, he's a He's a part of the heritage here at Breakersville First Assembly. And so, Lord, as he ministers, he's truly a minister, God. As he ministers to those that are battling these, these habits and these, these, uh, these destructive habits and concerns, Lord, and hurts, Lord, even. God, I just, we, just, we just pray your blessing on him right now and celebrate recovery in our church. Lord, let it be united. Let it reach the lost. Let it reach the found. And Lord, may we see people delivered and set free on fire Amen. for Jesus. Yes, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Scott. Let's give him a hand. Thank you. Grab Thank you, that man. from you. All right. Thank you.